Hi guys. Well, it is a 47 degree, 47 degree smoke choked hellscape in uh, upstate New York here today at Bugs in a Jar Farm here on this chilly Wednesday morning, June the 7th, 2023. Feels more like January 7th, 2023. But anyway, I am sitting here gagging and then choking in the uh, blanket of wildfire smoke, uh, blotting out the sun and destroying my vacation rental business here on this gloomy Wednesday morning <clears throat> up here in the piney woods. And uh, I just did a rant from the French news service headlined, Arctic could be ice-free a decade earlier than thought. But as long as I was on Yahoo News on the French news service, I, I read this and uh, when I first read this, I said, I cannot believe it, finally. We have some intelligent comments, <clears throat> at least someone treading on the thin ice, treading their political career on thin ice by talking about overpopulation. In this case, our good old Save the Planet jet-setting U.S. climate envoy John Kerry, uh, this article also from the French News Service, where John Kerry says that 10 billion people on the planet will be, will be, <coughs> quote, unsustainable. Wow. Do you think so, that 10 billion people on the planet will be unsustainable? Uh... <laughs> yes, right. U.S. Special Climate Envoy John Kerry told AFP that the world's population will not be tenable in 2050 when it is projected to hit nearly 10 billion people. But he refrained from asking Americans to give up eating steak. Not to mention uh, asking Americans and uh, Americans and everyone else on the planet to keep their pecker in their pants and don't let their knickers down. Uh, <laughs> since November, the global population has officially now crossed 8 billion, more than three times the figure in 1950, which I think is about the year that John Kerry was born. Uh, probably my guess he was born around 1950 or in the 1950s when the population when was not tenable in the 1950s. Uh, the human population on this planet was unsustainable and uh, untenable, talking about uh, 2050. All right, this, you know, tripling of population in the past 70 years has already stretched food and energy needs and supplies. UN projections say the global population will balloon to 9.7 billion people in the middle of the century, said Kerry in an interview yesterday, quote, I don't think that is sustainable, personally. We need to figure out how we're going to deal with the issue of sustainability and the numbers of people we're trying to take care of on the planet Close quote. Thank you, John Kerry. And if he had just shut his damn mouth at that point 
and ended the interview, uh, I would be cheering the man on. Uh, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, Ten billion people. He doesn't think that is sustainable personally. But uh, John Kerry, yes, they all save the planet, jet setting, climate envoy. We need to figure out how we're going to deal with the numbers of people on the planet. Yes, we do, John. It is the, uh, it is the number one thing we need to deal with. So he, so he says this, uh, <clears throat> this, this is clearly the most intelligent thing ever coming out of John Kerry's mouth and uh, probably the, you know, whatever's left of this man's political career just ended uh, with that comment. Um, back to the story based on the interview with Kerry. <clears throat> Global warming is exacerbating the problem. The landmark, yes, the landmark 2015 Paris Agreement calls for capping global warming at well below 2 degrees C and 1.5 and C if possible. I talked a lot about that in, that in the video I just did on the melting sea ice. Producing food for 8 billion mouths already accounts for over a fourth of greenhouse gas emissions. Cattle rearing for human consumption. This is the reason I do not eat beef. Food waste and deforestation further contributed, contribute to warming, which in turn is responsible for droughts, flooding, and extreme weather conditions. Okay, back to the interview with John Kerry. <clears throat> Quote, I have been in my private jet to a number of African countries where they're very proud of their increased birth rate. But the fact is, it is unsustainable for life today, let alone when you add the future numbers. And then just, just so you understand this, he wants to make it 100% clear for the record after, uh, you know, st stating that humans are killing the planet, quote, I am not recommending the population go down. I am not recommending the population go down, you know, below 8 billion. Oh, the 79-year-old added, quote, I have no idea what this uh, statement means. <clears throat> he's sounding like he's as senile as Joe Biden. Quote, I think we have the life we have on the planet. There you go. I think we have the life we have on the planet. Huh. <clears throat> there you go. And we have to respect life and we could do it in so many better ways than we are doing now, close quote. Experts say Africa is one of the regions worst affected by climate, climate change with devastating droughts and flooding, although its citizens have had barely any impact on global warming compared to Western nations. I am not going to get into my broken record, planet eating versus planet nibbling rant. John Kerry is a planet eater. Uh, some uh, clueless moron breeder in Mali with 12 kids living in a mud hut is a planet nibbler. All we need to say about it. But anyway, let's get to the, to the meat of the matter here. So uh, what does John Kerry <clears throat> have to say about uh, humans, particularly Americans, I guess, changing their habits to save the planet? <clears throat> 
avoiding air travel, consuming less meat, and improving insulation of homes are all changes that can help protect the environment. Yes, <clears throat> according to uh, anyway, I'm I'm moving ahead. Uh, blah, 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 blah. They, you know, they're talking about uh, they going on their full scale attack that it is people who eat meat, particularly beef eaters, that are taking down the planet without making any mention of how many. So apparently these vegans can have 10 children, but if you eat meat uh, and have no children, uh, you are guiltier than a vegan with 10 children. It, it, it is the message they're sending out here. Make no mistake about it, uh, what the uh, mainstream media message is here. So getting back to... Uh, to John Kerry, so what does he think about making personal lifestyle and consumer choice changes uh, to uh, help save the planet? <clears throat> but Kerry was not about, was not about to make an appeal for people to give up their hamburgers. Yes, much less uh, give up taking their pecker out of their pants, quote, I think that those choices, you, you know, uh, to have, I guess, 10 kids, to eat steak three times a day, to fly around in your private jet all over the planet like he does, you know, those choices, I think that those choices are up to people on their own what they want to do how they want to do it. What I would recommend is that we change our practices of how we feed livestock and what we feed them and how we use farming. Yes, he said referring to new technologies in farming that reduce the negative impacts of the environment. The former Secretary of State under Barack Obama, who lost the 2004 presidential election to George W. Bush, the <clears throat> why are they saying all this? But Kerry rejected rejected the notion of prescribed top-down changes to everyday life as a solution to the world's challenges. Quote, quoting John Kerry, I don't think you have to ask for a sacrifice of lifestyle in order to accomplish what we need to do. I think you can have a better lifestyle and you can eat better food and we can feed more people if we stop wasting as much food as we waste. Close quote. There you go. Uh, so the guy is, is completely schizoid. He starts out talking about how uh, the number of people on this planet is going to be untenable in 30 years. Uh, and then says, I don't think you have to ask for a sacrifice of lifestyle in order to accomplish what we need to do. And there you go. And that's uh, exactly uh, I'm reading. Uh, So what's his plan? To just start killing people? Yes. Sorry, Band-Aid John, but according to you, the Earth is already gone. Yep. Uh... <laughs>
nature has a way of balancing. If there are not enough resources to sustain people, it will sort it, it sort itself out. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway. As Elon Musk says, we have a population problem as we are not having enough children. Hmm. All these, uh... I know, let's have a global thermonuclear war. <clears throat> yes. And get rid of five billion pesky humans. Win, win. Here is finally a prominent somebody nailing the key issue. Too bad he has to be a prominent jerk. We can't make 8 billion work. Look at the damage that produces. 10 billion total destruction. Yep. So, now the socialist liberals want to decide who can live on the planet? Yes. <clears throat> Gee, never heard of this one. Let's start with John Kerry and his entitled family. Eradicate them first. That would be an equivalent of 100,000 regular people's footprint. Save the planet. Eradicate John Kerry. Uh, quote, if we <clears throat> went to our optimal population between one and three billion people, most of the world's problems would be eliminated overnight. And there was an article... There was a comment here by this guy, Humpty Dumpty, but it appears that Humpty Dumpty's comment has been ripped down, uh, which happens about 80% of the time uh, that this dude, uh, whoever this Humpty Dumpty dude is, uh, <laughs> something about keeping your pecker in your pants, can't imagine why uh, that comment was ripped down by the Yahoo News community. Anyway, I am freezing. <clears throat> I am choking on smoke. And I need to crank up my gas-sucking truck and go get a truck full of wood chips. Of dead tr tree chips. You know, I like to sit here and rant about how we're chipping all of our forests here in the U.S. and sending them overseas. Uh, so I'm going to go grab a truck full of <clears throat> dead trees while I still can before they get sent off to Europe to burn as biofuels. Get out there and grab all of the dead tree wood chips that you can, but looking around New York this year. The number of dead trees, I don't think the wood chip population is in any danger anytime soon. Smoke them if you got them. Bye guys.